And welcome back. This is Baller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is Chosen. Chosen is ranked 35th in his Diamond Division, Shuttle Gamma. He has 996 points with an even 87 wins and 87 losses. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Red Terran in the north up against Chosen. He is the blue Protoss player in the south. The map is Slag Pitch with Slag Pits, which I must admit is one of my favorite uh, new maps. Uh, I believe there are five total new maps on the 1v1 ladder, and it's it's up between Slag Pits and Backwater Gulch are, are as my favorite maps. The Shattered Temple, I'm kind of looking at it going, and how is this different from Lost Temple? I mean, there's a little bit of terrain differences here. You know, it's not an island exp expansion anymore. Uh, the little ledge where you can snipe enemies is a little bit smaller. The, the choke is a little wider, I guess. But really, overall, it's it's the same map, you know? Even got the same terrain, same spawn locations. It's this, it's it's Lost Temple. It's a slightly altered Lost Temple. They just didn't feel like, you know, destroying everybody's dreams when they say, "Oh, well, we changed Lost Temple," so uh, without telling you guys, so it's going to be a little different. So they just gave it a new name, which is what Shattered Temple, whatever. Uh, what was the other ones? There's that. Hmm. I can't even remember them anymore. It is t it is late. I am tired. I apologize. See, once again, look at that. The gateway is only like two or three seconds ahead of my barracks. So, remember how I said that, you know, if you're a Protoss player, your gateway should always go up before my barracks? Apparently, I don't know what I'm talking about. But as you can see here, I still don't have a refinery. You guys should know what that means by now. That does mean that I'm going to be going for a two racks expansion here. This is definitely a map where I like to do it. Um, the the expansion here is relatively safe to hold. I mean, you do have this huge choke here. Uh, you know, you'll see where I like to put the bunker to try to hold that. Oh, he takes out one of my SUVs, but I counter with my own, and so we break even. It's a toss-up, really as who can win this game. You just never know. So I still don't have any gas, not even going for gas right now. Uh, two racks is on the way. Not getting another marine, I really should be doing that. There's no reason for me not to be doing that. And here's where I get the bunker. I like this one, uh, the bunker here, because it at the very least should be able to, to see when people are going in the ramp and when people are going for the expansion. But it is not perfect, as you can see. It'd probably be best to get two bunkers, but then you're just splitting your forces, which is never a good idea. But this early in the game, you're not expecting an overwhelming force of Protoss units coming into your base. He is going to Chrono Boost the, the Warp Gate technology, standard. But he does have two assimilators up. Once again, you could probably tell more from a, a of a person's build by what's going on here than what's going on out here. As you can see, uh, no gas for me, two gas for him. So he's going to be going for units and tech, right? Those are your two options with these kind, with, with this kind of setup here, with two ga gas this early. When I have just now getting the first gas, that means I am going for either a ton of weak units or an expansion. And I don't go for a ton of weak units. You guys know me, I love my upgrades. So I'm going for the expansion. Two racks expansion, third racks is right on the way, right behind it. No reason for it not to be. Refinery is just now up. Once again, it's late. I would love it to be a lot earlier. I am supply locked too, though. That is something that... there's. I don't care what build you're going for, that's unacceptable. There's You never, never should be supply locked. But it is just on the way here. Um, but then again, the command center does give me huge bonus to the, the supply count. Um, so maybe I was just expecting that to be a little, done a little bit earlier. But it wasn't. So, yeah, keep an eye on that. So three racks is up. 
and running bunker out in front second expansion is now an overall command he is rallying looks like all his units here to the Zalnaga tower well he's sending them there at least observer is coming to my base hopefully he won't see too much there uh, don't want him to know what's going on here uh, because then he's going to have to do some early pressure, and that looks like that is exactly what he's going for here. He's going to be sending five stalkers into my base. But the bunker might scare him off here, especially with the reinforcing units. Yes, it does. Uh, so he skirts off, and then it looks like he's trying to, to micro my bunker. Okay. I mean, whatever works for you, man. Uh... Where is that observer? Here it is. That observer is going to allow him to snipe the supply depot. I, I, it looks like I'm trying to scare him off here, but he does snipe it in time. So I know there's an observer in my base now. I am scared about blink stalkers at this point because this this ledge here is just ripe for blink stalkers. It would be good for reapers if reapers were good at all anymore, but they're not. So it's not good for Reapers. I'm going to go for the Missile Turret here. He is going to be able to spot that and get that Observer out of there. Going for another Missile Turret out in front because I am scared of Dark Templars. Doesn't look like he's spotted that second uh, watch t second Missile Turret going up. Once again, tired. But his expansion is finally up and running. But I have taken a lead in just overall spending. Uh, units lost. He is a little bit ahead still, but I don't mind because I do have that bunker up and I do have the larger army in terms of minerals at least. I do. Thought it was going to be a little bit higher than that, but he did just warp in a couple centuries. Oh, and an immortal is out and looks like he's going to be going for another observer here because he lost his to the missile turret that he didn't spot. I mean, if you got an observer out there, make sure that, you know, there's not just a, you know, an SCV, you know, check periodically. Don't just be like, oh yeah, I have an observer. It'll be fine. No, it's cool. Don't worry about it. And there we go. New observer, not doing anything. But, jeez, look at that production line. Once again, only Terran players and really only me. I seem to have the largest production lines. Even when I play TVT, and I look back at and I'm like, wow, they, they weren't producing anything. I am still producing a ton. Getting all of those upgrades. Am I supply locked? No. So there's no reason, even if I was supply locked, there's no reason for me to stop producing. Uh, going for five racks. I do have Engineering Bay up, of course, as I'm going for the weapons level one. He does have a Colossus on the way, along with the Thermal Lance upgrade. I think I mentioned that Thermal Lance upgrade was on the way. Uh, three more stalkers out. Once again, those colossus are pretty much useless without an army in front of them. They're kind of like siege tanks. In the in, in that, if if you just have four siege tanks by themselves, and you try to go into somebody's base, you're not going to get a lot of work done. But if you have this, you know, just just a little bit of a meat shield out in front, and then four siege tanks behind it, they are your best friend. They'll get a ton of damage done. They just don't have a lot of HP. They can't take it as much as well as they dish it out. A Twilight Council is on the way. I assume that at this point he is going for Templar attack. That'd be my guess. I don't know if you need the Twilight Council in order to get the... Templar Archives, you do. So, High Templars, Dark Templars, hard to say at this point. Either one would really help him out, um, because I don't have very many missile turrets. I just have them strategically placed. I do have that one out in front, so most likely he will be not going for the Dark Templars, and he is not. He is going for the High Templars instead. He does have two Colossus out on the field. Quite a large army for him. He does have the lead, but I do have the lead in supply count. Uh, thanks to 50 SCVs, as opposed to his 46 now. Just now getting in the factory. It is late, as you can see. I have fallen behind in uh, my mineral management. I tend to do that with this build. I'm still working on it. Need to work out the timings of all the additional 
production facilities. So I'm going for the push here. It's not necessarily the best idea, especially now that High Templars are on the way, but uh, considering that Psionic Storm is not done yet, this is something I need to do. What with these Marines and their green combat shields? Has uh, it always been green? I don't think it has. Did they, like, update all the pat, like, all the textures when they update? I don't know. It's hard to say anymore. So I'm moving in, stimming up, trying to focus down. Yes, focus down one Colossus. I'm, I try to focus down the other High Templars. They were just bait. He does not have Cyanic Storm like I thought he did. So I'm trying... So I... I scan, try to get some work done on the Colossus, Colossus, but no, he escapes with 9 HP. And there he shoots through the floor and somehow hits all my Marines. And scan again, that instantly goes down. Three Stalkers going to come in, they're going to get some Poshos off on my army, so I'm skirting them away from the ledge, trying to get some damage done on all these probes. They go down so fast, look at that down to just 30 as opposed to my 54 pro or 54 SCVs now. And looks like that last Colossus along with those Stalkers will be enough to finish off my Marauders. This guy lives with 176 HP and I am meanwhile going for a sneaky expansion here. Third expansion over here. Don't know if it's the best idea to go on this side or on this side. I figured we would split the map this way, but it doesn't look like that's the idea. You probably want to split the map across here. That's just a thought, though. It's hard to say. Um, I, you know, I've never seen a pro. The pros play on this map. I assume he hasn't either. So, you know, you just don't know what's standard, what's not. I don't know if this is not considered my expansion at this point or you know what's going on we're both equidistant away from it that means yeah big words you guys know what it means actually uh two starports on the way as you can see not doing too well here um yeah still oversaturated at my main it looks like uh looks like i went for a huge transfer here to my third base, which is going into a planetary fortress, but it just has absolutely no defenses right now. I'm going for level two upgrades on my Marines and Marauders. Uh, getting siege tech, going for siege tanks. I need another one on the way. And as you can see, I'm low on minerals right now because of that huge transfer that went down. The observer is going to spot my expansion here, so he knows that I have it. Meanwhile, I am going for this expansion here. I did not spot the probe because I just keyed these guys up to take out the rocks without even thinking that there'd be a probe here. Why would there be a probe there? Uh, he does have a probe at his high yield, but he just doesn't know what to do with it yet, apparently. Is he there? He's there. Six zealots on the way, along with a high templar. They, of course, do have high storm now, so that's not good for me. Uh, tech lab reactor going down on my two star ports. Uh, weapons level one on the vehicles is on the way. That is not seen very often for me, but it is going into the late game here, mid to late game, I should say, 18 minutes. I would say it's probably about mid game. Uh, completely oversaturated here still. Look at that. All that on two mineral patches. That is not a good idea. So I'm trying to move out here, uh, trying to keep uh, my army somewhat together. And it looks like here that he is going for a huge push on my third base. He looks like he sent his entire army out to get it. Meanwhile, I'm going for his third. I drop a scan just to make sure, yes, there is something there. So I'm going to go try to get some work done on it. He moves in with his charge zealots. Uh, this thing, <laughs> are you kidding me? It got one kill. That thing is useless. Ugh. But he cancelled the expansion there. I know that because I was there. Sorry, I didn't catch that on screen. Uh, so I'm moving back here. And he's, yeah, he's got nothing. So I figured that he would uh, move into my base with his army, but he didn't. Instead, uh, he, he tries to defend his base here. A ton of size storms going down. I mean, that was a lot. And as you can see, it did a lot of work there because I did not micro properly through it. 
charge zealots are going to be able to wipe that out. Uh, I should have gone right into the mineral line here, knowing that this was probably his best mining expansion now. And in fact, it's his only mining expansion. He is not getting any thing done in terms of minerals look at that and that's why they are so low uh, meanwhile I do have a raven out uh, just in case he has some sort of dark templar going out uh, SCV gonna build a command center at the high yield now even though I still have a ton of minerals and gas um, yeah that is far too many I am mind out of my main. I don't move my SCVs either. That is not a good sign. His observer is going to check out my high yield here, so he will be seeing what's going on there. Uh, continuing to produce Marines and Marauders. Doesn't look like he's producing anything, but it does look like I'm going for a medevac drop here. Along with level 3 upgrades for my infantry, these guys are now 2-2. Two, two. I can't really show you. Here we go. 2-2. Two, two. Like I said. He is going to be going for the high yield again. I don't really care. Um, I'm going for his main base. I'm going for his tech right now. I'm not going for his product, for his income. He did finally transfer him. Did I transfer my guys? I did. They went into the high yield. So I'm kind of long distance mining here because I really have no other choice. I uh, did finally catch up on the minerals and gas, but that's not a good thing. That just means that I'm not getting any more minerals and gas in like I used to. So I'm dropping into his main base. And I'm getting a lot more damage done than I had originally thought I would. I'd assume that his army would immediately come in. Here it finally comes, but it's going to be way late. The Nexus goes down, taking out Pylons. I instantly take out his robotics facility, his Cybernetics 4, and his robotics bay. Oh my gosh, that is a ton of damage that I've done there. Uh, these guys just don't have enough energy, it looks like. Uh, yeah, Cyanic Storm is very expensive, and he is forced to GG, and that's the game. Oh my goodness. So a relatively long game for me, 23-23. I'm going to say that's relatively long because it's not as long as it could have been. Uh, wow, I didn't use the energy. Didn't get. I mean, there's still so much I could have done here. Oh, Raven never did anything. Point of his drone. Not auto turret. I need to keep that in mind. Um, yeah, I, it won't show me the hot keys for it. But, uh, yeah, point defense drone. I always go for the missile turret, which is stupid. I need to go for the point defense drone instead. That is a much better unit. But, yeah, so a medevac drop technically won the game for me. But even if I had moved in through the main, um, through the front, I, I still would have won that. And he still would have had to GG. Uh, as you can see, I have a max supply, not maxed army yet. Uh, I do try to go for the longer games here. Um, but I don't know if my Mac, my micro is good enough to handle the longer games with the Protoss players yet. Uh, if they go for a massive amount of size storms. But then again, it worked here. These guys all lived. These guys all have some energy. They all lived. So yes, uh, maybe I am good enough to handle this. Uh, but really, the problem was uh, mining for both of us. Uh, he just didn't get the mining done in time. Whereas I got mining done very early. And my third base is what killed me towards the end. But yeah, lots of room for improvement for both of us. Hope you guys enjoyed the game. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. I'm going to sleep.